Hi guys, I didn't quite just finish on the last video. I was kind of cut off right at the last minute there. So this is me just finishing up for you. Uh, shouldn't take very long. There's a few things I want to talk about. So what you're looking at here is quite the mess, really. Uh, we've got lots of things here. I should finish up what I was writing on the last time. This is the angle of reflection. If you remember, that's the last thing I was saying in the last video. But I want to, I want to step back here and say, wow, this is really busy. And to be honest, we don't usually draw all of this stuff when we're talking about what we call ray tracing. Because what we're doing, let's just get rid of this for a second. What we're trying to do here is something called ray tracing. This, this is what this is all called. We're like tracing where the line of the light ray is going to go. And usually when we draw this, you know, if I was going to draw something, this is everything I would draw. Okay, so let's just let's just go through all the different things that I would include and, and the things I would not include. The things that just don't make sense to really, add, that don't add any information. So, for example, first things I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the, this would be the surface of the, uh, the boundary of the medium. So, this is the, this is the boundary. I'm going to draw that. I always draw the boundary. And before I draw anything else, I am definitely going to be drawing. Um, let me just get the arrows here. I'm going to put my arrows in. I'm definitely drawing the normal. So I'm always drawing the normal. So here, and uh, I could even just draw that by a, a nice little N. Okay. Which means. All I need to draw here, let's just say I'm going to draw a, a light ray. And it's going to hit the boundary and it's going to, let's say, uh, we haven't really set it, but let's just simply say this is um, less dense. And this is more dense. Whoa, that doesn't say more anymore. There we go. This is more dense there we go more dense material so it's going to slow down just so it's clear we're making something slow down and so i'm going to have my what i call my incident light ray it's going to reflect and it's going to go into the medium and it's going to refract it it's going to, it's going to bend so all we want to talk about now is, okay, so what are all the things we're talking about here? The, so what you show is you show the incident light, or, or we'll just simply say the wave ray. We show the reflected ray. And we show the refracted ray. Usually. Usually we're showing both, unless there's something specifically being said. And then we're looking at the angles. So we look at the angle. I'm going to keep doing that. The angle of incidence. And that means this is the angle of reflection. That's a little hard. And then I've got the angle of refraction. Now the question is, do I say R also? Do I do theta R, theta R? That doesn't make sense. So how do I label this one? If this is the reflected ray, which is a little R, what do I do at the bottom of here? I don't just say theta R or I'm going to get confused. I'm going to have two theta R's. That's no good. So if you remember when we're talking about this, what is the name of this wave as it gets into a medium? And if you remember, we call it is a transmitted wave transmitted wave ray so this is not just refracted but it's transmitted which means you really show a little p that's actually the proper way of labeling it so this is the reflect so theta r would always be the reflected ray and theta t would be the refracted ray so this is refracted ray sorry i should say that there but specifically it's refracted but it's also transmitted. It's transmitted. That's why we say theta t. 
So when you're drawing it, this is really all you need to draw, which is much easier to look at. It makes things really simplified. And you basically can follow the direction of any wave that's traveling out. You must remember that really what's happening is the waves coming out in a whole, all sorts of directions. It's, it's, really, it's not just simply going along this single line. It's right across this whole thing. Like if I drew the, the ray, then it would look like, you know, like right, sorry, just like right across like that. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to draw that. I don't have to. I've simplified it and showed it just simply as this single ray. So I don't draw the wave fronts. I just simply draw the rays. And I make my drawing much, much simpler. Okay, so I hope that clears things up for you. And uh, don't forget to make sure you make some notes on this because it is definitely going to be in a test. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to ask you about later. And you need to know it if you're ever going to be, if we're going to talk about all the different things that happen to waves when they pass through a boundary. Okay, talk to you guys later. Hope this helped. See you next week.